Welcome everybody, this is Deb here uh, with a frugal craft for you today. We're going to be customizing some candles. A life event came up which I'm doing some table pieces for. And I saw this idea, tried several times with some different things, so I wanted to show, share with you my thoughts on how that works. Um, today we'll need um, uh, some tissue paper, some general purpose paper, uh, back paper um, bigger than the height and the width of your uh, candle. Obviously candles of any size um, will work. Um, you have several sizes. Uh, blow dryer. I'm using an iron to iron my tissue paper which is not necessary. Scissors. Um, school glue. Um, uh, this is an up glove. Well, okay, it's an off-brand of an off-glove, but it works awesome. And I'm using an inkjet printer. First, I'd like to take my tissue paper, and this is parchment paper, just because my crafty iron gets stuff on it, and I don't want to get my paper icky. Um, so just run your iron. Protect your work surface, obviously. Um, Run your iron at the medium-high heat just to get those extra wrinkles out. They're not going to lay completely flat, but uh, they will settle down for you and make make it much easier. And man, flip it over. And do it one more time. Get those lines just on the end of the paper you're working with. Okay, shut off and unplug your irons, always. Don't leave them unattended, that can be a fire hazard. Okay, you're not going to get all the wrinkles out, however, um, most will work well. Oh, I need a pen in my hair. Uh, I found, oh, regular, just one piece, one piece, I felt like two. I found a better way to um, put this through the printer, uh, trim it to size, you want to try to get it as neat as possible because you don't want a paper jam. So this is what I found worked. Okay, so the top end of your printer, or the, it depends on how your printer loads, and I will show you mine when I load it. I am going to put an arrow on my paper because this is the end that I'm going to feed into the printer first. So first I want to do this side um, of the paper and glue her down. I imagine we could actually trim a little bit more off, but I think we'll be all right. So, um, just liberally put some glue on there. Your glue stick. Best time to buy them right now. School supplies are on sale. Get your craft, your pens, your office supplies this time of year. That's what I like to do. And then carefully put it on. Make sure it's as flat as can be. Okay, so that's side one. Then you're going to do both of your, your long sides. Come back here, please. Thank you. I kind of like to fold first. It gives me a better kind of a head start to make sure it's snug without crinkling your paper. Yes, we're definitely going to trim that off. It's got an icky edge. I don't know if you can hear it, but my son is playing a video game, and you might hear a, an occasional uh, shout-out. <laughs> Sounded like a jump scare thing that was going on in there. So, again, tape the edges down real good. Tape, I'm sorry, glue. Um, you could use tape, but um, tape... I think this is a more inexpensive way. Remember, we're about frugal and um, 
the most cost effective way. This side as well. I'm going to give this a little haircut. So, um, yeah, it just, it makes, to me it makes sense. They were doing the sides and then the bottoms, and, or then they did the bottom and the top, and um, it, to me it was more risky of a paper jam. So I think this is the best way to go, because your little extra ears are up there, and then uh, down here you have no extra ears. And there you have it. Now we need to let that dry and I will be back. The other thing you can do, you can heat set this as quilters know, you can heat set hot or glue sticks with your iron. I prefer to let it dry naturally. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back at the printer. Um, I'm using an Epson Workforce 3640. Um, remember our arrow? That's going to load in first. I'm putting tissue paper side down because that's how uh, mine likes to go. Make sure your adjustments are correct and snug so you don't get a paper jam. There we go. Plant paper. Okay. Good Wi-Fi signal. Um, let me send the print. We're good. These uh, candles would be awesome for um, a celebration of life, memorial candles, unity candles um, for a wedding, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, uh, anniversaries, holiday decor if you want to spruce up, you know, for Halloween or Christmas. So now that we have our pictures and our text printed, um, I wanted to show you something when you go into your photo editing programs or just uh, the simple basic windows. Um, you need to brighten up your pictures because this is the first one I did. It looked good on the computer, there was shadow on her face, but it looks pretty gray. And I think that's because the tissue paper likes to soak up the ink a bit. I did a second. A second run and I lightened them up some I did a couple different things and didn't quite care for them as you can see and now this one it is lightened up but there's too much uh, light glare so we're not going to use that one um, we'll go for a different one for the next part we're going to use uh, this little guy right here I should say gal um, when you cut out your your photos. You want to try to make sure your edges are rounded. Um, or or your ink. This one is going to be more straight across but we'll round it down on the ends. Uh, I like to leave the backing of the paper. It's not attached however it's behind there. Um, just for a it's easier to see than the tissue paper is and trim around and as I said kind of try to round off them sharp ends don't have them too sharp just like on a, a tire patch sharp things come undone easily or, or more, more easily candle um, you need a piece of wax paper that is bigger than the height this way and bigger around than the width. Um, you can use an up glove, a towel. Um, actually, I prefer using the sleeve of my sweatshirt to um, protect my hands. See some of the ink runs, runs through. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then you're going to find your placement here. And that looks good. OK. 
carefully put this on. Now I chose wax paper over the parchment paper because on that first one I couldn't see what was going on as much. Also, um, it ran more. I'm not sure exactly what went on. So, so now I have the paper pinched in here. I'm going to grab my blow dryer here. I'm using my sweatshirt sleeve. You want to keep this very, very tight. So I like it bigger because you have something to pinch onto. Okay, everything looks good. Now we're going to blow dry. Apologize for the noise, it's going to be pretty loud here. You want to blow dry until you start seeing the wax melt on the wax paper. Okay, so that's a little shiny there and it's a little difficult to see but the color will turn darker <coughs> let it dry for a second and then carefully peel and this one is good and done you'll see a nice little wax coat I don't know why I might, I don't want to focal in here, maybe. there. But you can see the wax over the photo or the print. Now we'll do our lettering. And again, round your edges. Round and round we go. Do, 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 do. You don't see the um, the edges of the paper much, so don't worry about that. For whatever reason, I can't get this part. There we go. And um, wax paper's cheap. You can reuse it, but I find it doesn't work the greatest. Now. This, to find our point here. I forgot I was zoomed in some, so to watch what I'm doing here. I want that center on the back. New wax paper. Sleeve protector. Um, I've seen them use tape. I couldn't get it tight enough. I thought it was an extra step. I think tape is a waste of money. Um, however, if it works good for you, go ahead and, you know, just tape it on the other side. And here we go with the next one. lost my grip. It does get very hot so please protect your hands. Um, I tried the up glove but it kept slipping. The tighter you keep um, your wax paper, it'll help keep <coughs> the wax from melting and distorting your candle. Uh, I'm just waiting for the shiny wax on the wax paper to dry some. It doesn't take long. 
That looks about right. It needs to solidify. And there you have it. After I stopped recording, I uh, I came across something. I'm doing all these candles. As you see, there's a couple more packs here to do. And um, I just happened to do it, and I wanted to share it with you. So I'm going to edit this in. Oh, this one's already done. Um, take this and put your, um, just as before, okay, and then, uh, so you have your placement, make sure it's nice and straight, put your wax over it, trying to keep your wax nice so your, uh, candle stays nice, right? So I got a hold of this, right? Now my hand is protected and I am not, I, did you see that? One more time. So I'm holding on to this, pull the sleeve up over, and my hand is protected from the heat. Uh, so like if you want to cut off a old sweatshirt sleeve or something if it's summer and it's too warm, I just happen to have air conditioning on so I'm cold because everybody else in my house is hot. That would be a perfect way to uh, protect your hand. Happy candling!